Judy Kenny lost her husband Derek to new variant CJD. He'd been given four pints of blood in 1996 during an operation. He died of CJD six years later, and it was only because his wife complained that they subsequently discovered one of those pints was contaminated. Not only was variant CJD a man-made disease, um, which could have been avoided, he, we now knew that he'd received it from infected blood, um, and nobody had told us that he'd received that infected blood. So it was a very bad time. The BBC has discovered that to reduce the risk of further cases, government scientists are recommending that centres like this one in Bristol filter donated blood. This device would remove the prions that carry the disease. So why have the scientists ruled out giving filtered blood to the over 13s? Well, that's because 13 years ago, new controls were introduced to remove tissue from beef, like spinal cords, that were more likely to transmit CJD. The scientists do not want to offer the treated blood to those exposed to contaminated meat. The company that makes the filter finds that hard to stomach. Uh, we're somewhat perplexed that this recommendation has only been made for children because uh, variant CGD is an issue for everybody. It's now up to the government to decide whether to accept this recommendation. Matthew Hill, BBC News, Portsmouth. Paul Beresford. Wait, Mr. Speaker, I'm sure the Prime Minister is aware that in percentage terms the population of the United Kingdom and Ireland are the biggest reservoir of the prion that causes the fatal and incurable human brain disease variant CJD. One of the means of transmission is blood, blood transfusion. In October last year, the government's scientific committee looking at this recommended the use of a filter for blood for transfusion for children initially. When is the government going to react to that recommendation? This is, this is a very serious uh, matter that he raises in uh, great uh, detail. Uh, that recommendation is obviously very important for the future of the blood transfusion service. I will look at it very carefully and I will get back to him. Tony Lloyd.